In this video we're going to look at the response and calibration of ion selective electrodes. So when we take a measurement of a sample or a solution or a standard with our ion selective electrode we get a reading in millivolts and this is the potential difference across the ion selective electrode and the reference electrode. So we can plot that data, that potential difference in millivolts versus the log of the concentration for the standards that we've measured. And what we see is that we get a linear response in the potential difference versus the log of that concentration. And that's a bit different from what we'd normally expect. Normally with an analytical technique we get a linear response with respect to just the concentration. But here, take note, it's with the log of the concentration. We can work out a gradient for that line and we also get an intercept. And again, this is something a bit different from an uh, analytical technique that we might normally come across. Normally, the line of best fit goes through the origin, whereas with a line set to electrode, you tend to get this uh, intercept uh, occurring. So we get an equation for this line of best fit. Uh, here we've got E equals M times the log of the concentration plus C. So this is very much along the lines of a uh, Y equals MX plus C uh, line of best fit, but we've got E on the y-axis and log of concentration on the x-axis so we end up with the equation shown here. Um, just to find these terms here so we know what those are and so we see that the potential difference follows a linear relationship with respect to the logarithm of the ion concentration. So in terms of calibration ion sets of electrodes need to be calibrated before they're used and the readings are taken for a series of standards with known concentrations and then we plot the calibration graph and then we can work out the concentration of an unknown using the line of best fit. So let's take a look at this example. So there's some data here, we've got the standards concentrations, we've got the log of those concentrations and then we've got the probe response in millivolts. And we've plotted this out and we get a straight line graph with an intercept. The response for the unknown sample is given here, 235.1 millivolts and so we can use this and work through an example. So we've got the unknown response which we refer to as Y0. We've got the line of best fit from the calibration graph. So we can work out the unknown X0 by rearranging the line of best fit, plugging in the numbers and we get 0 0.5731. Now that is not the concentration, that is the log of the concentration. So in order to get the unknown concentration for our sample, we need to do the reverse log. And so we do 10 to the power of x naught, and that gives us 3.74 millivolt. Uh, next, we need to think about the error. So this goes into um, errors to do with calibration graphs. So I've got a separate video about this. So I'll just skip through this quite quickly. Uh, the equation that we need is shown here. And if you want to, to uh, see this video in more detail about uh, how you do these standard errors for calibration, I'll put a link in the video description. But here's the data again for X and Y. We work out some Y calcs on the line of best fit. Then we can work out residual squared, XI minus X mean squared. And then these values are what get used within the error equation. So we can plug those numbers in and we can work out an error in X naught based on the calibration data that we've got and the value for the unknown for Y0. Now again, this is not the error for the concentration. This is the error for the log of the concentration. In order to work out the error in the concentration, we need to look at the propagation of errors. And there's a general rule for this, where if we've got a function, some function Z equals a function of X, then to get the propagation of errors, to get the, the error in Z, we need to take the value uh, for the error in x multiplied by the gradient for the function shown here. So let's look at this for ion selective electrodes. Z equals 10 to the x to get the concentration back out if we use Z as concentration. Now the derivative of this, if we mathematically uh, take the derivative of this, we get dz by dx equals natural log of 10 times 10 to the x. And then for the propagation of errors, we need to multiply that by the error in x. Now we've got that from the previous slides, and so we're now ready to put this together. We've got the values here, 
so the error is is shown here so we've got the error in x multiplied by the natural log of 10 and then multiplied by 10 to the x so that gives us 0 0.16 millimolar so overall our unknown concentration is 3.74 plus or minus 0 0.16 millimolar okay hope you found that useful uh, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment and if you want updates remember to hit the bell icon so that you'll get notifications about future videos. Bye for now.